Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pretty serious declutter. I have one of the biggest drawers in my makeup collection that I want to tackle today. This drawer has foundations, it has body highlighters, and it has powders. So this drawer is pretty bad. A lot of these things are expired, a lot of them I just don't use, and some of them are the wrong color for me. So if you guys want to see a before and after, a savage declutter of my foundation and just have a peek into my collection, then this is the video for you. I do have a whole series on declutters if you guys want to check them out. I personally like doing these videos during the social isolation because all of us can kind of relate to decluttering, getting rid of things that we don't use, whether it's makeup or clothes, anything that we might want to spring clean. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you like declutters, please give this video a thumbs thumbs up for me and if you want to see me declutter this drawer then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so this is the drawer that we're working with. Above I do have my eyeshadow palette drawer. This is another one we're going to have to tackle eventually. But this is my foundation, sponges, body highlighter, powder. It's kind of a catch-all and it's really going to make me happy to organize this. So here's a nice little before. We have sponges way in the back left corner. We have some backups in the back right corner. Body glow, foundations, and powders. So the most time-consuming and difficult part for me is going to be emptying this drawer. I do not want to bore you guys, so I am just going to empty this and then we will come back and put them back in the drawer together. Alright, so I am stopping like a quarter of the way through because I don't think this method is going to be the most efficient for this video. So I'm going to clear out the rest of the drawer with you guys. Um, I did put my body glow over here on my tray and then the rest of my foundations are over on my desk right now. Um, but I will share those ones with you later, but I think we're going to have to actually declutter this collection together in order for me to effectively do this video. So this foundation section right here is the drugstore section, and for the most part, I have kept this organized drugstore high-end, most used, least used, and I'm going to try to stick to that, but it is getting harder as I get more foundations in my collection, and a lot of these, I don't know if you guys can see, a lot of these drugstore foundations are separated because I have not used them at all, so some of them really do need to be thrown away, like this one, W4. This is my tan shade, and I think I've let it go to too long so bottles like this have an expiration date this one expires April 2020 so I'm gonna be throwing this away these are the L'Oreal true match by the way both of these expired in March so I'm gonna throw them away and this one I will keep because it's a lighter shade for one thing and I am a bit more fair right now and also this expires in 2021 so I will keep this drugstore one I'm gonna keep it in the drugstore section for now this covergirl one is the true blend matte made foundation I'm gonna keep this one in the shade L90 and then I have three other shades here so it looks like I did get some use out of M10 I'm assuming that one matches me more so I am going to get rid of M30 and M90 I just think they are probably too dark for me they don't look like they've been used so I might be able to donate them so this is the original wet and wild foundation I don't know if you guys can see but it's very liquidy and watery in there I do believe this is expired so I'm gonna get rid of this one but I do have some of the dewy ones that are brand new in my collection unfortunately the line doesn't have a good shade match for me so I do have to keep multiples if I want to use it so these are the dewy ones and they're all pretty much brand new I think I might get rid of medium tan and I will keep light, light medium, and light neutral. So I will get rid of medium tan. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. It's in the shade 00BB, so I think it's a lot lighter than I expected. But I had some old ones of this, and I think I already decluttered that. So I'm going to keep this. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. This is very much expired. It literally looks like it hardened inside here and there's water, so I'm throwing this out. I really enjoyed the L'Oreal Lumi Foundation. I do think this is really old, so I have to let it go. This one I think is in the shade W6, so it is again another tan shade, and I haven't been this tan in a very long time. I don't get a lot of sun. Uh, so I'm gonna let this one go. This one I think came recently in PR from Rimmel. It's the Stay Matte and it's pretty much brand new so I will keep it just in case I want to use it in a drugstore video. 
This foundation from Maybelline is the Superstay foundation. I think this might be a year or two old, so I'm going to let it go, even though I did really like this foundation. I'm getting rid of all of these pro mattes from LA Girl. Some of them are color correctors and some of them are foundations. Now, something very strange about these bottles is they're glass, but for whatever reason, they sweat and they sweat oily substances. I don't know if it's literally only me and I happen to get stuff all over these. As long as I have had these, they've been covered in some type of oil and I honestly never reach for them, so I'm getting rid of all of these. The one that I will keep, however, and keep repurchasing is the white mixing pigment because if I do have a foundation that's too dark for me but I refuse to let it go, I always mix it with this and a little bit of liquid highlight and it's such a great combination. So I'm keeping the white one. I found another expired True Match from L'Oreal. This one is in the shade N4. I think I already had an N4. I'm also going to get rid of this one. Just fell out of my hands because it's literally greasy. I have two lasting breathable foundations from Rimmel. Let me see if there's an expiration date on these. Yes, these both expired in October of 2019. So I'm getting rid of these. The fact that I have this in the shade 310 it just needs to go. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. Wow, like I can't even tell you the last time I was that dark. Probably when I was tanning in the tanning bed, which I no longer do. You know what? This one's not greasy. It's probably expired. Let me look for an expiration date. It doesn't have an expiration date on it. I'm going to keep this one just because it's not as greasy. I'm going to keep, this is going to be the only LA Girl Pro Matte that I'm going to keep. It's in the shade Medium Beige. I found another CoverGirl one. CoverGirl sent, I think, every shade, which is why I have so many of these. I don't think I've used this, so I'm going to donate this one. These are fairly new. They're from the brand Shop Miss A, which is that dollar makeup website. They are, I think, like buildable dropper foundations. I'm going to keep them just in case I do another video full of $1 makeup. I love this foundation. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This one is in the shade Sand Beige. I highly, highly recommend trying this if you guys like a matte finish, but a very, very long-lasting full coverage foundation from the drugstore. Get this. I have a Wet n Wild Stick Foundation in the shade Soft Beige that I've never used. I'm going to keep it. And so now I can move all of my drugstore foundations that I have right here into one little square. So hopefully, I do have room for more in here, but hopefully I can keep these organized. I'm sure that I already took out some that I need to put in there, um, but we'll get to that a little bit later. These are the Makeup Forever Ultra HDs. Oh my god, they're so liquidy. I'm so mad at myself. I've let everything go bad. These need to be thrown away. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation in the shade Light Medium Sand. The only reason I want to keep this is because I do really like the applicator. This is a Wet n Wild Pump Makeup Locker like BB cream type of thing. I've never reached for this. I'm just going to get rid of it because I don't think it's really my kind of product. It's supposed to be like a lightweight foundation that you can wear to the gym, but I don't know. I just haven't reached for it in forever, so I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Il Maquillage Foundation, a very expensive high coverage foundation. Um, I wasn't thrilled with the way this brand shipped the product to me. This was sent in PR, but the pump, I believe, leaked all over the place and they sent me the wrong shade like three times, even though they asked me what shade I wanted. This is the shade 110. I do keep this just in case I want to, again, kind of like shop my stash. It is a really high coverage foundation. I just wish that they would get their shipping together. Even though they sent me three of these and two of them were the wrong shade, all of them had an exploded pump upon arrival. I don't know if they fixed that since then, but that just, I, it rubbed me the wrong way and I couldn't provide you guys with a review because even if it's amazing, I would be pissed if I ordered that and paid for it and it came like that. This is the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation in the shade 3. I will keep this. I really don't remember my feelings on it though, but I'm going to keep it just in case I want to dive back in. So these ones are unfortunate because they were sent to me a long time ago and I just never got around to using them. It's from the brand Ilia. I mean, this has probably been two years that I've had these. 
I can say I don't really like packaging where I can't see the product. Unfortunately, I think I waited too long, so I'm just going to get rid of these. There's no point in trying old makeup and giving it a first impression because it's my own fault if it's old and not functioning how it should. This is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation, and to be honest with you, this is the most dewy foundation I've ever tried to the point where it was greasy, like it did not look good on my skin at all. Um, I wouldn't recommend it and I'm definitely getting rid of it. It's just one of those products I think I had in here for nostalgia reasons. I think this was like my first expensive foundation that I purchased. I have the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation in the shade F8. It looks like I only used this once. I'm gonna keep it because I am curious to see how it is. I went over to the foundations I already took out and this is one of them. This is the new J-Cat foundation. It's the Skin Insurance, and this one is in the shade Custard. I have used this and liked it, but I also am not sure if this is the reason why my skin got kind of cakey. I've used it twice and both times I used the Anastasia Loose Powder, which I don't think works well for me. I feel like I'm going to have to give it another try, but I think the powder ruins some of my makeup. Um, I'm going to keep it. If I use it again and the same thing happens without using that powder, I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I do have this and a backup in the back of the drawer. So as you can see next door, I have my tube foundations that can't stand up. I have two sets of them that are laying down. This is where I like to keep like my CC creams, my tinted moisturizers, and my tube foundations. So clearly I have a lot of the Peach Perfect, which is from Too Faced. It's one of their full coverage matte foundations. I do think I'm going to get rid of the dewy foundations from Too Faced. Maybe I'll keep one of them but I just have not reached for them. I have four of the Matte Peach Perfect Foundation. So I have the shades Snow, Vanilla, Shortbread, and Almond. This one is Almond. I think that looks too yellow for me, so I'm going to get rid of Almond. This one is Vanilla, and Vanilla is the shade that I use in the Born This Way. Um, so I think this one's fine. This is the shade Snow which is a little bit lighter. I like to keep light and dark foundations, um, but that, mm, I think that's too light. So I'm gonna get rid of snow. And then I have shortbread. Shortbread just isn't my color. So I'm gonna get rid of shortbread. So going into this, I do have some drugstore foundations that are in here. Two of them being some Revlon Candid foundations, which I actually really like. This Candid foundation in the shade 230 Bare Natural is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I've used it a lot over on Instagram. I have not tried the Glow foundation yet, but I want to. So both of these I'm keeping. This Origins In Bloom foundation is one of my favorite foundations ever. Mine is in the shade 230 Light Neutral, and I did a whole video on this. I really, really like this, so I'm keeping this. So we have three of the Too Faced Dewy foundations. I think I'm going to get rid of Natural Beige. It's probably too dark. I'm going to keep Vanilla and Light Beige. This is a Laura Mercier Glow Powder Brush, probably in here because of the powders, but I like to keep my brushes separate, so I'm taking this out. These are stick foundations. We have a Tarte one and we have an Hourglass one. Hourglass is one of my all-time favorite makeup brands, especially this Vanish Stick. Uh, this one is in the shade Nude. I'm definitely keeping this. Ooh, actually, I don't want to get rid of this. This is the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation in the shade Light Medium Sand. I'm going to keep this one as well. So I have some tinted moisturizers from Laura Mercier. I have the Tinted Moisturizer Illuminating and the Plain Tinted Moisturizer. Now I have a bad feeling that these are going to be too dark for me. I have not tried them yet. Actually, I think we might be okay. I just haven't tried them yet because in the tube they look pretty dark. So this one is Warm Radiance and this one is Fawn. I think they're going to be okay, so I'm going to keep both of these. This is another foundation from AOA, the $1 makeup brand. I'm going to keep this liquid foundation. This is the Perfect BB Cream, actually. It's not a foundation. I'm going to keep this just in case I do another one of those videos. And I'm getting rid of this Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Nude Cushion. 
Um, it's very, very expired and separated. This is another Estee Lauder product. This is the BB Antioxidant Beauty Benefit Cream. I think this is expired too, so I'm gonna let it go. I have two BB creams from Beauty by Pop Sugar. Again, I don't like a face product where you can't see the shade, so I'm gonna check. That looks fine. This one is in the shade beige, and this one is a little lighter. This one is in the shade light beige. I think they both look decent, so I'm gonna keep them both. I don't reach for things when I can't see them, so that's why I am not getting use out of those. So I'm actually gonna move these tubes back um, to where they were because I just realized I have a lot more high-end foundations that I wanna move to the front um, that I had over on my desk. So I'm gonna do the same thing. The way I had it kinda worked for me with the tubes and the BB creams. It's not the most glamorous looking, um, but it's okay. So I grabbed some of the foundations that I had already placed on my desk. I have some of my all-time favorites that are the Urban Decay Stay Naked. So I have three shades of this. One is over on my desk. Then I have 20NN, which is a good shade for me right now and one that's a little more pink that is 20 CP. I like to mix them, so I do keep them back to back in one of my front little sections because I reach for them often. Then I do have two Born This Way foundations from Too Faced. Both are in the shade Vanilla. This one is older, this one is brand new. So I'm gonna put the older one in the front so that I use it first. Another foundation in a tube is the Amazonian Clay from Tarte. This is in the shade Fairlight Neutral. It works really well for me right now, so I am gonna put this in the front. I have the Face Tape Foundation from Tarte. I really like this too. This one, what shade is this one in? This is in the shade Light Neutral. I'm gonna put this in the high-end foundation drawer. Actually, I'm gonna put it back with the other Tarte foundation. I have two of the Vanish Liquid Foundations from Hourglass. They are in the shade Bisque and Linen. I keep them both because I'm kind of between these shades, but they're very expensive. I do like them. I'm not sure how old they are now, so I'm going to keep them towards the front. Now I have two foundations from Laura Mercier. They are the Radiance Foundations. Both of these, unfortunately, I think are a little too dark for me, but I do keep them because I have that white mixing pigment. Um, but the shades are Dune and Ecru. I also have two of the original matte formula and I do like these. I'm going to keep them both. Again, same as the Too Faced. I have two of the same shades, so I'm going to put the oldest one in the front and the newer one in the back. This MAC foundation has unfortunately never matched me. It's just too orange. This is NC25 and it's the regular Studio Fix Fluid but I'm gonna let it go because it's just too orange for me. I have some Magic Tint Tinted Moisturizer from Avon. I haven't tried any of these yet, so I'm gonna look at the shades. We have Fair, Light, and Light Medium. I'm just gonna keep Fair and Light, and I'm gonna get rid of Light Medium. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, and unfortunately, I am gonna let this go. I did use a lot of it. It's in the shade 5. Um, but it is like two years old now and I think it's expired. I just don't reach for it So I'm gonna let it go. So we're making progress here. I have another foundation from Veil Cosmetics This is the Sunset Skin. It's a newer brand to me and I am still testing it out I really liked it on the first try So I'm gonna keep this one now. I'm gonna have to make some decisions here with the Anastasia Dewey foundation um, this is 240N, and I think this is the closest match that I have to myself. I like to keep this in the front because it says foundation and you can see it. <laughs> um, but I have four shades back there uh, that I need to pick which ones I want to keep. I have this foundation from Lancome that I really like, but unfortunately it expired in 2019. So I'm going to get rid of this. So here are the Anastasia foundations. We have 250C, 305, 300, and 270C. I'm going to get rid of both of the 300s because I just don't see myself being tan enough to wear these. And for now, I will keep these ones just as backups in case I end up liking that other one. I just haven't found the right combo, but if you guys love the Anastasia liquid foundation let me know and let me know what you're using as primer um, but I'm gonna keep these in the back for now as backups I have another vanish foundation back here from hourglass in the shade natural I think this might be a good color for me um, so I'm gonna keep it up here even though I love these I'm gonna get rid of all of them they're the Jouer essential high coverage foundation 
as you can probably see they're crazy separated they're also a couple years old um so it looks like i have four of them while i did like them i don't want to put anything expired on my face and they're just not looking good so i'm gonna get rid of these so here we have the anastasia stick foundation this is another dilemma because i have so many shades so this is the one that i got the most use out of this is the shade warm natural i'm gonna keep this and put it in with my other stick foundations i have a second warm natural i will keep as a backup this one is cool beige this definitely would match me in the months when i'm lighter so i'm going to keep this in here as well this one is in the shade beige again i feel like i can make it work this is why i keep these things now this one's in the shade tan this is not going to match me so i'll let this one go so this is a product that I kept around because the packaging is so, so pretty and I like to put pretty packaging towards the front of this drawer. But this is a product from Winky Lux. I'm not sure if it's a foundation. Oh, it's a tinted veil and it's in the shade light. And the problem with this is it's so deceiving. Again, we have that same issue where you can't see the product, but wait until you see what the shade light is. That is the weirdest color. Like it's like green like dark weird it just doesn't look good so I'm gonna get rid of this even though I love the freaking box that it came in I found my Milani screen queen foundation this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations ever um, I like to have this in the front because it's one of my favorites so it's gonna go over here um, nothing is making sense no, I'm just going to stick to my plan. I'm going to put the drugstore in this one. But since it is one of my favorites, I'm going to be dipping into this section more often because that is literally such a good foundation. So moving on to body highlighter, I'm literally sweating. This is taking so long. Um, I'm going to put my body glow products, which can also be used as mixers, over here to this side. So backups. I have a lot of the Rio Sunset Glow Oil from Sol de Janeiro. It's my all-time favorite body glow product. And this is that Rio Sunset product. I like to keep it right towards the front because I use this a lot on my body in my videos. I also have the shade Goldie Rocks from Sol de Janeiro, which I don't reach into as often, but I really, really like it in the summer. Now these from Huda Beauty, I really don't like as body highlight, but I really love mixing them with foundation. So I like to keep these is just because they are so beautiful um, I'm gonna keep them but I might end up getting rid of the darker shade aura because it is so bronze um, and I wouldn't mix a bronze product with my foundation but for now I'm keeping it the shade I like to mix with my foundation the most is Luna so I'm gonna keep this in the front I hate the caps of these because they come off so easily so if you go to grab this by its cap you will drop the product and I've done it thousands of times. The middle shade is Aphrodite. I'm going to keep this over here with the other deeper one. We have two glow oils from Soul Body. I do really like their glow oils. So these are in the shades of Rose and Golden. Oh, you guys, they're so beautiful. My hand hates me, but look at Rose. And so I love this one for the body as well. And then this one comes out in the summer to give me a nice bronze when I'm outside. I have another Glow Motion in the shade Master Flash. I don't use this one as much, so it's gonna go over in the other drawer. A really pretty drugstore option is this Beach Bay from L'Oreal. This I really like as well, so I'm gonna keep this in here. So this is tricky. This is the Shimmer Body Oil from Anastasia. It's so, so beautiful but I think it broke me out, but I love it so much, the smell of it and the way it looks in the bottle that I like to keep it in the front so that I can see it in my collection. And that might be stupid, but I just don't wanna get rid of it. It's so pretty and I like taking pictures of things. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I'm not getting rid of that. I have the Shimmer Dry Oil from Soul Body. This is in the shade Soft Gold. I did a whole video on these. I don't like that they separate in the bottles, but so far it hasn't got stuck down there. Um, so I might try to give it another go in the summer, but this is very, very intense on the body, so I don't reach into it a lot. I do like that they have minis. So I have a mini rosé and I have a mini warm gold of the dry oil. I like both of these. I just used this one in an Instagram video. 
I found my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I use this with my foundation probably almost daily, so I want to keep this in the front with my most used foundations. Now I definitely need to start decluttering, um, but I have the Sunbeam from Benefit. I also like to keep my liquid highlighters in this drawer, so that's another thing I have to keep in mind. Um, this is brand new, so I'm going to open this up. That was a backup sunbeam. I have another sunbeam and high beam. So I'm going to get rid of this one because this is older. And I'm going to keep high beam for now. I have the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and Glitter Drops. The Moonlight is my all-time favorite for mixing in with foundation. And then it looks like I have the shade Blossom and the Glitter Drops in the shade Nova. So I'm going to keep all of these in their own little group. Then I have these Aura Glow Liquid Highlighters from JCAT. They are older. I'm going to keep the champagne one. This is in the shade Moonlight, and I'm going to get rid of the white one and the bronze one just because I never reach for those shades. This is an AOA dropper highlighter. I actually really liked this, but I hate the packaging because it doesn't twist shut. But for now, I will keep it because I think it was like $1.20. So these are the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. I think what I'm going to do is keep this one shade, but I'm going to put it in my body care drawer, not with my liquid illuminators, and I'm going to get rid of this bronze shade. And then I have these Wet n Wild Hello Halo highlighters. I'm going to keep both of these. So I have two Lancome custom highlight drops in Rose Glow and Golden Glow. I'm going to keep Rose Glow and get rid of Golden Glow. Same with MAC. These are weird because they're called Hyper Real Foundations, but they're obviously liquid highlight or liquid glow. I have Rose Gold Effects and Bronze Effects. I'm actually going to keep both of these for now. Then we have Glitter Drops. These are from Smashbox. They are separated. I'm going to get rid of them. Um, this is a liquid highlight dropper from L'Oreal. I don't like the color, so I'm going to get rid of that. These are from Too Faced. They are glitter drops as well, and they are so separated that they're like stuck. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. So I have a bunch of these Lumi Glotions, and I think I'm only going to keep one of them. And this is the shade Medium Glow. I have got some use out of this, so it is kind of like a liquid highlight slash lotion. I'm going to keep this laying down, um... I guess I'm just going to keep it laying down over here, and then I'm going to get rid of the Deep Glow and Fair Glows. Also getting rid of all of these, we have a Tardist Pro Glow, I just never use it. We have a Luminous Glow from LA Girl that's expired, and then we have these liquid highlights from The Balm, Mary Dumanizer and Bonnie Dumanizer, Dumanizer, Dumanizer. I can't pronounce that. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of both of these because I never use them and they're old. This doesn't belong in here. It's a primer, so it's going in my primer drawer. It's the CoverGirl Illuminating Primer. I did just do a declutter of primers if you guys want to see that. Now this brush is the Body Blur and Glow brush from Huda Beauty. I keep this in here because if I don't, I will lose it. Um, so I keep it with my body glows because I like to apply all of them with this. It's like my favorite body glow brush. So we're done with body glow and foundation. We have to move on to powder. So I think with this, I'm really going to go savage mode because I am getting really beat of doing this. Um, I probably could have broken this up into a few videos, to be honest with you. Um, so let's go hard. This is an affordable translucent setting powder from RCMA. I really like it. I don't like that it's in a spice jar, but it's okay. It's good, so I'm keeping it. So the Anastasia powders. I don't personally love them. I'm going to keep one so that I can keep playing with it and see if I like it, but I'm going to get rid of banana and I'm going to get rid... Ooh, I don't want to get rid of translucent. I'm going to keep translucent and vanilla and I'm going to get rid of banana. These are Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundations. I'm going to get rid of them. They're very old. This is the CoverGirl Loose Mineral Powder in the shade Banana. I'm going to keep this. I don't have a lot of drugstore powders, so I like to keep those. Um, the other one that I use, actually, I can get rid of banana because I have this one. I'm actually going to get rid of the banana one because this is translucent. I'm just going to keep translucent. This is the gingerbread, like, edible shimmer from Too Faced. Now, these seem so cheesy, but I love these, especially in the summer. So I'm going to keep both that I have. I have the Erica Jane and I have the gingerbread. I'm keeping both of these. I'm actually going to pop them back here. Oh, I found a brush. I can just get rid of that. I don't use it. I'm going to keep my big powders 
right there. This puff thing came with the Ciate powder, but realistically, I don't use this puff, so I'm gonna get rid of the puff. I have a lot of Jeffree Star powders. I'm probably gonna keep all of them. Um, I'm kind of a collector of Jeffree Star cosmetics, so I'm gonna keep translucent in the front section, and I'm gonna keep the other ones that I have, rose and beige in the back of my drawer. I have the Tarte Shape Tape. I actually really like this powder because it has a little trampoline type thing that the powder comes out of and I like this so I'm gonna keep this. This is the MAC Patrick Star. I'm gonna keep that one as well as well as the Too Faced Peach Perfect. Now these I keep because I use them all the time. Like I'm always rotating through my translucent powders. This one came in a boxy charm. It's pretty vulgar. It's actually really good. Okay, so this Ciate Jessica Rabbit Powder, I honestly never use. Um, it's more of a bronzing powder. I think I'm going to move it into bronzer. So these palettes from Too Faced I'm going to keep because I haven't really played with them yet. They have like a highlighter and they have a soft focus powder. Um, so I'm going to keep these. I have the shade deep because I want to contour with it. I have the shade medium and the shade light. Um, so I'm going to put these in the back because they're so oddly shaped. I have two of the Hello Happy foundations from Benefit. I'm going to keep the lighter one, the shade one. I'm going to get rid of the shade three. I honestly think I am shade two. <laughs> I love the Candle Glow powders from Laura Mercier, so I'm going to keep this one. I haven't used it yet. I'm still trying to get through one in my project pan, so I haven't dipped into this one yet. This is a Maybelline Superstay powder. I like to keep my drugstore powders for when I do drugstore reviews. These are the Wet n Wild Illuminating Rocks from, I think, the Crystal Collection, and I actually really liked these, so I'm going to keep them. This is one of my favorite products. It's the Matte Radiance Powder from Laura Mercier. I'm going to keep that. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Mineral Makeup. I actually love this powder. I forgot how much I love it. It's probably expired, but I'm going to keep it for a shop my stash. This is the KKW Brightening Powder in the shade 1. I'm going to keep this. This is definitely expired. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Powder. I liked it, but I think this is three to four years old. Look at this tiny baby powder from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Um, it came in a sample over Christmas time. It's so cute and small, um, but I'm going to keep it because it's one of my favorite powders. I just need to repurchase the full size though. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Retouch Powder, and this is in the shade Butter. This is another sample that I got. This is the new Stay Naked Powder Foundation from Urban Decay. I'm keeping this. I have a Banana Powder from Too Faced and a Blur Peach Powder from Too Faced. Guys, I'm getting so sick of this, so I'm sorry if I'm rushing, but I'm going to get rid of this Kat Von D Translucent Locket Powder. I never use that. I'm going to keep the Everyday Vacay from Ciate. It's coconut scented. I'm going to keep the Becca Hydrating Powder. Um, keeping all of my Laura Mercier. So I have the Special Edition. I have the regular one. I have the Glow one. And I have backups in the back. It's my favorite. Keeping Drugstore in the back and higher end in the front. Wherever they fit nicely. I'm going to keep this Urban Decay All Nighter because it's waterproof, I think. Um, these could be interesting to test out in the summer. Um, now, my compacts don't look amazing because I don't have, like, actual compact holders, but it's okay. They're not terrible. Backups, backups. I'm going to get rid of this 240 Pressed Powder Fit Me from Maybelline. It's too dark. Don't know what I was thinking. Um, so we have a backup. We have a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I will keep that back there. Um, and then I have a brand new Rimmel Stay Matte that I'm going to keep. It's one of my favorite powders. We have some Kevin Aquan products. Now, I never reach for these. Um, I don't know why, but they are so luxury that I hold on to them. This might have to be another shop my stash kind of product. They're very strange products, like they're ombre a little bit. This one might even be a blush, but I do like to hold on to them because they are very different. Okay, so it's pretty much organized by pressed powders and loose powders, and then we do have a crazy amount of sponges in the back. 
Um, I'm just going to quickly knock that out and throw out the ones that I don't use and see if I can get it down a little bit and then we're going to be done. Alright guys, that was a little bit backbreaking. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm kind of out of breath. It took me about an hour and a half. Obviously, hopefully I can edit the footage down, but this is probably still a really long video. But this was my worst drawer in my collection and this is the after. So, it's not perfect. I've got some gaps that I need to fill. I might change it up a little bit, but this is like the overall layout and organization that I like to stick to, and I got rid of a lot of stuff that I don't use. I've got quite the hefty box to get rid of. Everything in here is pretty much expired or too used for me to feel comfortable giving away, so it will be going in the trash. So that's it for today's video. If you guys like declutters, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me. I do have a whole declutter playlist if you want to check out some of my other declutters, my latest being my primer and setting spray. But thank you guys for watching and for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here, and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye guys.